Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cypher Sue. Today's topic is, does it feel like you're living on a repetitive treadmill? Well, life is full of adversity. We all know that. But if you take the safe way all the time and don't encourage yourself to take new steps, get out of the box once in a while, you're not living your life to your full potential. You're sort of taking the easy pathway here. But unfortunately what happens, it's not really an easy path because when it comes down to it, you're sitting there saying to yourself, well, I'm not really doing anything that is making me feel whole. I'm not feeling like I'm bettering myself on a regular basis. I sort of feel stuck. And the reason for this is it is a fearful place sometimes. Change is not easy. Change can be very scary. And when it happens to us quite often, not because we choose it to happen, it can set us back. I personally feel that it helps knowing that we all go through stuff. We all have stages in our life that maybe are really great. And then other times it just feels like there's nonstop drama or stress to deal with. So this causes fear. This can put you into a stuck position because you feel if I'm on a treadmill and I'm going at the same pace or I'm just doing the same thing all the time, I'm not going to have drama. I'm not going to have all this, you know, things that I have to keep dealing with on a regular basis that are painful or, or hurtful or whatever the scenario that is going on at the time. The trick is to look at anything that you've gone through in your life and respect the time you spent in that situation because it's taking you always to a better place. Sometimes it doesn't feel that way. Sometimes it feels like someone's out to get you. The universe is not a, doesn't have your back. All these things going on in your in your psychological mind and you shut down. You just say I'm not doing it anymore. I'm especially like for relationships. I'm angry. I'm I'm feeling a bit jaded because everybody's the same out there. Nothing works. Love is a bunch of crap. Nobody wants to get married. All these things that you hear from your friends or even your own coming out of your own mouth sometimes. And that's okay. We all get frustrated. And that's what makes us sometimes get into a better place. Because when you get so frustrated that you don't want to be there anymore is when you take the plunge and get out of that comfort zone that's not really that much fun to be in. It's a little too safe. And you're not being all you can be because you're in a place of just boredom, routine, all the same stuff constantly. We all need a little routine in our life. I'm not saying you shouldn't have any of that, but you should always have new goals, new challenges, and mark things on the calendar that you can live up to. There's a reason that people make New Year's resolutions. And one of those reasons is it kicks your butt, it kicks your butt into going in a different direction or a better direction or just maybe on a fun adventure. Think about it, like staying stagnant in the same thing all the time. Doesn't make you evolve, doesn't allow you to grow, to be a better version of yourself. It just keeps you in a sort of a bit of a lazy mode where you're not really contributing anything other than the basics. And when that happens, it starts to take a toll on your self-esteem, on your self-worth, because you're feeling, is this all there is? Is this all I'm able to do? Well, the answer is no, that's not all there is, but that's where you've put yourself. So if your life is becoming very repetitive and just a flatlining existence, walking on a treadmill, you have to start talking to yourself about what you can do to make a difference. What's your purpose? Why are you here? Everybody has a purpose. And sometimes we bury that. We think, oh, that's not really true. I'm just going to, I like to be at home. I, I like to stay at home and watch TV. I like to cook and be just in my own home environment. Well, that's okay, but it doesn't mean you can't have goals that you achieve within your home that better your existence. You want to keep evolving continuously because that's what keeps you living. 
A lot of people who are lonely or depressed or sad as the years go by, it's because they feel they missed out on a bunch of things. They didn't push themselves enough to get to a better place. And that's why I wanted to do this video today because I really think that sometimes we do need a kick. We need a little bit of a push just to get us out of some slumps that we allow ourselves to be in. And you are allowing yourself to be there because it's your choice. It's your choice on how you move forward or stay put in your life. Every birthday, I have new things that I'm going to achieve each year. And I'm usually pretty good about making them happen. Don't get me wrong, it's not easy, it's a chore because I challenge myself quite a bit. I don't just sit there and say, oh, I'm gonna go to yoga twice a week. I say, I'm gonna write a book or I'm gonna do a, a new website or something along those lines because I've already done all those other things and now I need to do bigger things. And that makes me feel good. It's not for everybody. Baby steps are great. You know, it could just be joining a gym this year, doing meeting girlfriends and going for a few walks during the week, having coffee dates with people that you, when you normally would stay home, get out, mingle, talk. Every time you're in a new environment, you see different things. You meet different people. You feel different feelings. This is why it's so important not to be a couch potato, not to stay home all the time and to get out and mingle because that opens your eyes. It opens your brain up. It makes you think about other things. And this is always great because when you've always got a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of a goal that you have to achieve, it does give you a purpose, as I was mentioning earlier. And that makes you feel good. It puts a spring in your step. Do something a little bit out of the box that you haven't done before. It doesn't have to be a big thing. It can just be something that maybe you've wanted to try or implement into your life and you just haven't got there yet. Put it on the calendar and say to yourself, okay, I'm gonna do this thing, this one thing. And I can guarantee you that when you do it and you get through the fear part of it and you make it happen, you're going to understand how important it is to always have something to look forward to. Something that you can make yourself feel good about. The more of this that you do in your life, the better you feel about yourself. You don't have as many insecurities. You're not as shy. You gain a new confidence that allows you to meet new people and experience new things. And in closing, I want you to understand you're not competing with anybody else. You're not envious or jealous of other people because once you start getting into that place, you stay stuck. You have to say to yourself, okay, I'm gonna try this first and then maybe I'll move on to something better or bigger later on, but I'm gonna just start here. I'm not gonna compare myself to anybody else because I'm me, I'm individual, I'm separate to them. Go into it with enthusiasm go into it with belief and do something out of the box that you've never done before just start one little thing and I promise you you're going to want to do more thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber C today please leave your comments below please like the video and if you haven't subscribed I would love it if you could do so thanks so much everyone bye, -bye.